The Roy Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his golden palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Well, riders, Trigger here is raring to go, so let's get started with today's story. Don't see why you can't ride right up to the front door in style. We're taking a shortcut. We've been cooped up so long we both need the exercise. I saddle Trigger the last stop back and he's raring to go. <laughs> really feeling his oath, huh? Yeah. He seems to know we're getting close to home. He's some horse. Yes, he is. It was a great tour. I wish we were just starting out. It was a lot of fun, but I'm glad to be home. Let's go, Trigger. Easy. I was anxious to get home as he is. <laughs> See you back at the ranch, Mac. So long, Roy. Take it easy now. You bet. months has got you a little out of condition. You like that exercise, Trigger? Yeah, that sounds like trouble. Let's take a look. riders, but they got away. Is he dead? Yes. Do you know anyone around here who'd want to gun him down? Well, no. He just come here from Oklahoma. He took over this place when old Jeremiah died. And I just brought some stuff to his wife for Dale. His wife? Yeah. Mrs. Jenkins. Dale. Easy, yeah. ma'am. It's all right. You're oh. with friends. Pat, bring the oh. jeep around. We have to get her to the doctor. 
Hi, Pat. Hi, Roy. How's Miss Jenkins? Not so good. She's lost a lot of blood, and that bullet in her shoulder's given Doc Moss a lot of trouble. Is Dale around? She's in there helping the doc. Oh, here she is. Pat, the doctor wants some hot water. All right. How is she, Dale? Will she pull through? Well, the doctor won't say. But he's going to stay with her until she recovers consciousness. How long have you known the Jenkins? Not too long. Why? I was just wondering why anybody would want to chase them off of their land. Well, I can explain that. They live in Lost Valley. Well, what's that got to do with it? There's only a few farmers and homesteaders there. Not anymore. The Jenkins were the only ones left. All the rest have been burned out or scared off. It sure doesn't make sense to me. There's nothing out there of any value. I tell you, I know what I'm talking about, Sheriff. They're out to ruin us, and you're doing nothing to protect us. Absolutely nothing. How long do you expect this to go on? As I've told you before, Mrs. Clinton, I can't be in two places at once. Have you got any ideas? I'm open to any suggestions. Oh, hello, Roy. Hi, Sheriff. Glad to see you back. Hi, Dale. Hello, Sheriff. Where's Mrs. Jenkins? She's in there with a the doctor. How is she? Still unconscious. I want to have a talk with her. Oh, Mrs. Jenkins is unconscious. Now, Sheriff wants to talk to her. What's he expect to do? Read her mind? What do you expect from him? Now, just a minute, folks. I don't know you, but I do know the Sheriff, and he always does his best. Roy, this is Mr. and Mrs. Clinton. They've taken over the bank. This is Roy Rogers. He owns the Double R Bar Ranch. How do you do? I do. Hello, Mr. Rogers. We've heard about you. You've been away, haven't you? Yes, I have. Well, now that you're back, I think we'd better get together for our mutual protection. Protection? From what? What, from that gang of terrorists that have been operating around here? Do you have any idea who they might be? Not the slightest. They seem to know just when one of the farmers gets a big loan from our bank. Yes, and then they scare them out or burn them out. And now with Jenkins gone, we're stuck with all of Lost Valley. If the townspeople ever knew how low we were on funds, what, there'd be a run on the bank. I appreciate your problem, and we'll try to get to the bottom of it. Mineral City. I wish I'd never heard of the place. And we came here believing it to be a law-abiding community. Come on, Owen. Pleasant people. I'll bet the citizens of Mineral City are sure happy that they're running the bank. Yes. Yeah. I happened to overhear the last part of that conversation, and I tell you, that woman's been driving me crazy. Well, never mind about her, Sheriff. Tell them about what Miss Jenkins said. Oh, well, she come to just long enough to say, Jamie. Jamie? That's her son. What'd you do with him? We didn't even see him. That's right. And if Jamie was in that cabin, he wouldn't have a chance. I'll go see. I'll go with you. Pat, look after things while I'm gone, will you? The place to look after itself. So I'm going too. Sheriff. Worried? Yes, I am. I hadn't planned on killing him. We couldn't stall Jenkins any longer. But murdering a whole family, it isn't worth it. It is to me. Clay, when you're free, will you come into the office? Yes, Mrs. Clinton. wonder where Rogers and the Sheriff were going in such a hurry. I haven't the slightest idea. Well, I have. Probably headed straight for the Jenkins house. Oh, stop worrying, Owen. Look, now we've got all of Lost Valley. All we've got to do is sit tight for a few weeks. Then when the property's recorded in our names, we'll accidentally discover Jenkins' oil strike. Yeah. And then we'll be fixed for life. Come in. You want to see me, Mrs. Clinton? That horse of yours threw a shoe during the Jenkins raid. I know. Milo took him to the blacksmiths. Well, apparently you don't understand. Roy Rogers is back in town. He's out to get the killer Jenkins, and those tracks are leading right straight to our barn. Roy Rogers, huh? What do you want me to do about it? Take the boys and backtrack. If Rogers gets too close, discourage him. A pleasure, Mrs. Clinton. Sheriff, you and Pat search the house for Jamie. Dale and I'll take the yard and that old shack over there. All right. He couldn't have been at the neighbors. The Jenkins were the only folks left in the valley. All right, Bullet, let's see what's in there. Get back, get back! All right, get back! 
alive, he inherits the property. Come on. second to start talking. All right, I'll talk. I'll make a deal with you. Looks like you've got a bad one, Sheriff. Through the shoulder. Better get me back to town. Well, the sheriff took a bullet in the shoulder. Can you make it to town, Tom? I'll be all right. I'll take him on trigger with me. Milo Scott works for Clinton. Don't talk about it now, Sheriff. First we'll get you to the doctor, then we'll find out about Clinton. Bullet! Come here! 
Oh, come on. <laughs> Bullet, it ain't that way. We haven't got time to sit down and talk this thing over, and I don't want to argue about it. But according to my calculations, we go this way. Now, Bullet, I was born and raised in this country. And I know every rock and tick infested cow trail in these parts. So for the last time, we go this way. Now, come on. <laughs> Hold up a minute, Bullet. My feet feel like they were caught in a thrashing machine. My throat's are dry, my taste buds are a-rattling. I don't think I can go much further, old buddy. You know, if I wasn't so dry, you could hear that sizzle. Well, Bullet, we've come a long way, but we can't go much further without a drink. Couldn't you find us some water? With all these trees around here, there must be a little water. Water! Bullet! You saved my life. Somebody polluted the spring. Anybody that would drain a crankcase in a spring shouldn't be allowed to own a gasoline engine. Did I say gasoline? got nourishment for Nellie Bell, and she can get us to water and towel. Has the Jenkins kid. Why didn't you jump? We did. But he Rogers and the sheriff broke up our play. They got Rollins. I had to kill Milo. You had to kill Milo? Why? He was going to spill everything to Rogers and the sheriff. Oh, you're going too far. We're getting in too deep. Oh, and will you please shut up? You've got a lot at stake. Here's the deed to the Jenkins place. Write out a mortgage on the property. Well, what good will that do? It'll give us a claim on the place till we can get rid of the kid. Get rid of the kid? You heard me. I know you're not going to like this, Jamie, but you got to be nice and clean when you see your mama. Is she all right, Miss Dale? She's going to be just fine, honey. Don't you worry. Hi, Roy. Hi, Dale. Hi, Jamie. Hello, Mr. Rogers. Feeling better? I feel fine. Well, that's good. The doctor said the sheriff's going to be okay, too. Good. Wonder where Patty is. Probably still trying to get Nellie Bell started. Speak of the devil. What happened to you? Have a fight with Nellie Bell? No, I went to get a drink in Jenkins Spring, and he'd gone and emptied a crankcase of oil in it. A crankcase of oil? Yeah, from the donkey engine that powered his well rig. From the donkey engine that powered his well? Jenkins was drilling a water well. By a spring? Gee, I never thought of that. And poor Clinton is stuck with all of Lost Valley. You thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we'd better have a talk with Clinton and get Jamie's property back. Pat, you stay with Jamie, and when you get him cleaned up, don't forget to wash yourself, whether it's Saturday or not. <laughs> well, I guess a little soap and water wouldn't hurt either one of us, would it, Jamie? <laughs> and when we get through, I'm going down to the general store and get you some ice cream and candy. How would you like that, Jamie? I sure would. Atta boy. <laughs> Gee, you got cute dimples. I we want to see Clinton. I'm sorry, he doesn't want to be disturbed. No, I'll bet he doesn't, but we're going to see him anyway. How about it, Dale? Keep 
proud of this. Clay will take care of him. Come on. All right, Dale, let's go see Mr. Clinton. Mr. Rogers, Miss Evans. Any luck tracking down those mass killers? Some. Two of them are dead. Splendid. Who were they? Don't you know? Why should he know? Well, they worked for him. What do you mean? You know what I mean. And I suppose you didn't know that Jenkins discovered oil on his property. Oil? In this area? Oh, you must be mistaken. Oil? Well, that's rich. Well, we've got government surveys. They, they show that there's never been any oil discovered in this area. Maybe Pat made a mistake, Roy. I don't think so. But we've got to be sure. You mind if I take a look at these papers? Keep your hands away from that box. Hold it, mister. What are they, Roy? By coincidence, some of Jenkins' papers and letters. If you didn't know about the oil, why did you turn down his application for a loan to develop his oil discovery? Why didn't you get rid of that? Don't be a fool. I've been a fool long enough, Alma. We knew about the oil. We tried to scare Jenkins off. But I had nothing to do with the killing. It was Alma and Clint. Drop your gun. Get Roger's gun. you drove out of Lost Valley will be glad to hear about this. They sure will. Reed does funny things to some people. Get going. Yes, sir, Jamie. This is where it all started. I forgot to give Nellie Bell her nourishment. And the path of fortune led me right to this little spray. Aren't you forgetting Bullet? <laughs> well, yeah. Bullet had uh, a little something to do with it. <laughs> Looks like a lot of luck's coming your way, young fella. Yeah, sure does. Your mother's getting well, and all those signed oil contracts look pretty nice. You be the biggest typhoon in the country. <laughs> you mean tycoon, Pat. What's the difference? Oh. A tycoon is a very rich person. Okay, let Jamie be the tycoon, and I'll be the typhoon. Well, that figures. A typhoon is a big wind. Oh, now, wait a minute. You ought to give me some credit. There I was. Stumbling along, half crazed with thirst, taking my last step, then I saw it. I lunged for it, and hey, hey, Roy, Roy! Oh, 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 oh you oh, dirty! Oh, oh, oh! He's really greased up now, isn't he? Isn't he though? <laughs> <It's a bother. laughs> Happy trail. 